In this video, you learn about the progress target action, a component that connects a progressor to a UI action. Let's go. The progress target action is used by a progressor to trigger a UI action at a set progress or value. And this is a very important uh, progress target because it allows you to do a lot of things. And I mean a lot of things. And let me show you how it looks. So let's go to Doozy, Progress, Targets, Progress Target Action. And here we have a lot of settings, but don't worry, I'm going to explain them all. Of course, you have the manual link and the, the link to this YouTube video. So yeah, let's get that out of the way. So you can read this here. Trigger actions when progress, and I can select progress, value, or inverse progress, is equal to, and I can select where it should be, between a certain values, not between certain values, equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, and you, you get the idea. So let's go with the default setting equal to one. And here we have a tolerance. All right, so what can you do? When, when this is triggered, when the progressor triggers this progress target action, you can hear a sound, start or stop a particle system, trigger one or more animators, send one or more game events, or even trigger a method or several methods using an Unity event. And that's it. Let's uh, see it in action and let's see how this actually works. So I'm going to create for this example, a slider. Let's see where it is. And let's set a color so we can see it better. Let's go with a, yeah, something like that. So we have a simple slider. Now this slider should update a progressor. So let's uh, go to Doozy, progress, and let's create a progressor. There you go. And I'm going to say minimum value 0, maximum value 100, just so it's easier to, to see how it, this works. And for the slider again, 0 and 100. And whenever, let's also bring this here. Whenever we change the value of the slider, we own value change. We want to update the progressor value. So let's click plus and let's drag and drop the progressor. Of course, we can also add them on, on the same a uh, game object as a slider, this will work. And let's say progressor, and here we'll say set value. All right, and uh, let's test it out. Let's enter play mode, and let's see that this slider updates the progressor. All right, so yeah, there we go, they are connected. Now my progressor should update a progress target action. So let's add a progress target, drag and drop. And now it will work. But what should it do? Well, let's say when it reaches 50, so when the value is equal to 50, I want you to sound, to, to hear an, uh, an alert. Yeah, this is it. So let's test it out. Let's enter play mode. And when the progress value will hit 50, this will get triggered. Check it out. There you go. I should point out that we should also see the value. So let's also create a text mesh pro just so we can, uh, we can see the value. Let's move it here. Let's center it. And let's say, uh, let's also add a progress target text mesh pro. Oh, I didn't enable it. Come on. Control panel. All right. Let's wait for the project to compile. All right. Let's drag and drop this here. And let's say um, use multiplier. And that's it. And let's test it out. So progressor, let's add another progress target just so we can uh, see the values. All right. Let's enter play mode. And now, when uh, we reach 50, you should hear the sound. Come on. There you go. 
And this is how it works. Now, let's say, as you can see, you heard the sound. If we go up, it will not work. But and you see here, disable trigger after activation. Maybe you do not want to hear the sound every time it passes through. So you can, you can set a reset trigger on enable or on disable, or after a set delay, default is three seconds. So if we go back again, we will, you will hear it. And you cannot hear it again for three seconds. And let's say, do not reset this. And you will see that right now it won't get reset. You cannot hear it anymore. But if we disable and enable it, it will work. There you go. Yeah. So these settings are for uh, for you to, to stop, for the system to, to stop um, calling this over and over again. You've noticed that we also have some other options. Let's say between an interval. Let's say when you hit between 20 and 30, I want to hear this sound every second. All right. So let's enter play mode. And check it out. So. There you go. And now. So this is for an interval. Let's say not between. This will get triggered here. But if you go between 20 and 30, you will not hear it. Let's go 50. Let's make it a bit bigger. So you can see you, you do not hear it. Let's go over 50. Let's go below 20. Now, again, let's say not equal to you can set if it's not 50, and you can also set the tolerance. Let's hear it. And now it's 50. All right. So you've just heard some sounds. Of course, you can trigger an effect, animators, game events, unity events, whatever you need. And here you have less than, let's say if it's below 50, you should hear this sound. Let's say below 20. I want to hear the sound. Let's uh, add one more. Actually, let's duplicate this. So let's say below 20. And this is between between 20 and 50 or 60, for example. So let's say uh, between 20 and 60. And I would like to hear something else. All right. And if it's over greater than 60, so let's go greater than 60. And here I'm going to say another sound. And of course we need to update them. So let's add this and this. So now I just added three things to happen. If it's below 20, you will hit this. If it's between 20 and 60, you will hear this. And if it's greater than 60, there you go. And this is less than. Yeah. Let's enter play mode. See? It's below 20. Let's go over 20. So now this is the one that is triggered. And let's go over 60. So you see, we have three progress targets and they react to different uh, values. Of course, you can do all sorts of things with this. This is just an example. You can change the, the effects. You can add some animations. If it's a progress bar or maybe some life, health, health bar, mana bar, whatever. But you get the idea. And if it reaches a certain value, it can explode, whatever. All right. So this is the progress target action. It has a lot of settings. Uh, it is set by default to use unscaled time because it was designed to be used in the inspector. 
But should you want to use it for game items, you may want to use it with skill time. So it, it's affected by pause and so on. And uh, yeah, you just disable this and it will work. And that's it for the progress target action. It has quite a lot of settings, but uh, don't get scared of them as uh, they're quite easy to understand and use. All right. Thank you very much.